What's up athletes? Welcome back. Today we have an eight minute no stop lower body workout to do. Now that means that we've got 16 different exercises that we're going to be doing transitioning from one to the next without taking any breaks. For each of these exercises we're going to be working for 30 seconds. Now this is a wild card workout so I'm going to show you your first movement and then going forward only let you know what's coming up just before we transition to the next exercise. All right, athletes, now let's get to it. All you need today to follow along is just your mat and yourself. All right, so standing straight today, we're going to do a forward and back lunge. So you're gonna lunge forward and then come back and then switch to a back lunge. Now, if you'd like, you could stop here in the center, regain that balance and equilibrium, and then move on back. But what is really important is that I want you to focus on creating a 90 degree angle in the forward and back leg every time you lunge. And then also as you push off your lunge, really focus on driving through the heels. And now as I switch here, I'm driving through the heels again. All right, athletes, are you ready? Working for 30 seconds and continuing on for the full eight minutes without any breaks. Here it is in three, two, one, and go. So keep that upper body nice and straight and really push through that heel. So again, you have that option of stopping here if you'd like to. What's really important is that you just stay in control, continue to breathe, and these 30 seconds pass by really fast. Now watch that. Again, you're pushing through the heel, really engaging that posterior chain. You got it, stay nice and straight. Good work, athletes. Get ready in three, two, when we're now going to switch to the other side. So same thing. And notice with this exercise that you are switching the working leg. So when this leg is forward, my left leg is forward, I'm working the left side. When my right leg is forward, I'm working the right side. So continue to breathe here. And you'll notice you have better balance on one side as compared to the other. And that's certainly my case. I've had a lot of injury in my back and nerve damage on my right side. So it always takes a while to warm up. Three two, one. All right, go ahead and transition now into your squat. So stay nice and straight. Drive those knees out, really making sure that the hips are lined up with the shoulders. Keep that torso straight. You always can do a sit squat as well in this position. That's it. Continue to breathe. You got this, athletes. Keep it up. Next, we're going to do a skater squat on the right side. So in three, two, one, all right, let's go ahead. Get really wide and now drive the hips back as you come into that skater squat. We're only gonna stay on that right side. I know, I know you're starting to feel it. What I love about working the lower body as well is that we really get to get that cardio involved too and I know that you feel it. Most of our muscle mass is in the lower body so we have that opportunity to really circulate that blood and switch. And then really get the most out of the movements. We're now switching to the other side and now get ready because after this, we're going to alternate our skater squat. So continue to drive the glutes back, wanting to take pressure off the knees. So initiating the movement by imagining that there is a chair behind you. Five seconds, we're gonna go ahead and switch to our alternating skater squat and go ahead all right now follow me we're gonna switch the other side alternate and really try to keep that pace and intensity going driving the hips back breathe oxygenate the muscles that's really important right now don't hold your breath inhale and then exhale on the effort 10 seconds get ready we're gonna get into a squat one more time three two, one. Now bring the feet just back under the shoulders, maybe drive the toes out slightly. So not a super ballerina effect, but maybe at a 45 degree angle. Push the knees out to activate the glutes. Good work, athletes. You got this. That's it. Keep it up. We are going to be halfway very soon. Three, two, one. All right, now switch over to buckle under. So get on the floor here with the hands and then just lift up the heels. So you wanna bend the knees all the way and then drive the legs nice and straight. 
It always feels very silly when you start this movement, but very soon once you start to feel those quads burning, you know exactly what we're targeting. Well done. Good work, athletes. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna stand for a curtsy on the right side. So curtsy lunge, you wanna cross the midline. So as you back lunge, you really cross the midline here of the leg. And this targets more of the gluteus medius. So you're gonna feel different areas of the leg firing up. I know, it's the doozy, I hear you. But again, eight minutes and we're done. And that's all we need to do today to work the legs. And now switch to the other side. Again, driving over that midline and that's really where the magic happens. So take your time getting from one movement to the next. Nicely done. Get ready now, we're gonna alternate that curtsy. Five more seconds, we got this. Three, two, one, and now alternate with me. So as you bring your feet forward, just make sure you're placing them in a position where you'll be able to cross that midline, and that's really the key when doing that alternating curtsy. Good work, nicely done. That's it, athletes. Get ready now for a back, back lunge, knee up on the right side. All right, so lunge, drive that knee up. And we are getting a bit of core with this movement as we lift that knee up. Good work, but we're also working that hip flexor on the right side. Nicely done. And now we're gonna switch to the other side. Get ready. And break. Here it is. That's it, chest nice and straight. Continue to breathe, remember inhale and then exhale on the effort. And as we lunge, we still continue to drive through that heel in the forward leg. 10 seconds. Good job. Get ready now for another set of buckle unders and break. All right, let's go. Get down here with me. I know I'm feeling you, but we're almost done. It's only 30 seconds. Drive to that breath, you got this. Feeling the burn with you athletes, but just, we got this. We're in it together. We've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now go ahead and get into a tabletop position for a fire hydrant. This is gonna finish it off today. Remember, we hold that top position for two seconds and you notice I'm rotating my head as my knee comes up and this helps me to lift the knee up higher because we have that reflex that I share with you with the eyes and the spine. The spine follows the eyes. Oh yeah, I know you're feeling it on the right side too. Get ready, last one. And now switch. That's it, one, two, and up. Nice. And so when we're doing fire hydrants, we're actually working both sides at the same time. So it's a really powerful exercise. All right, come on, we got this, 10 more seconds. Hold that top position for two, and then come all the way back down. All right, three, two, one, and break. Good work, athletes, we made it. Always remember to push through to the end. We sprint across that finish line every single time. So proud of you. Remember that if you have more time, go ahead and repeat once more, or check out the link I have for you at the end of this video to complete today's training. Remember that I love to hear from you, so comment below. Let me know how it went. Let me know what else you like to see. Remember also to like this video and then to subscribe if you're new here so we keep training together. All right, athletes, go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.